on the line. Who I got on the line with me today? Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you want to introduce yourself, say where you're from. I would love to hear that, just to kind of get the energy flowing a little bit in the room. Whoever wants to start, you can say your name, where you're from, and then we just go. How are y'all doing? This is Isaac calling in from Maryland. Hey, Isaac. Thank you for dropping in from Maryland. Anybody else want to let us know who's on the uh, line? Marcus, from Florida. I got introduced from my brother, Marcus. Um, oh, that's what's up, from Marcus Moon. Yeah. All right, that's peace. That's peace. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Anybody else? Angelic from Philly. What's up, Angel? Hello, everyone. Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the line. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll take one more, and then we're going to get started. This is Marcella from Philly. What's up, sis? Check you out. All right, that's, that's love. All right, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about who I am. My name is D. Renee, and I am a yoga sharer. I'm also an investor. Um, I don't work for anyone, which is beautiful. And I stopped doing that back in 2018 when I realized that being in an office with recycled air and asking someone if I would be able to either go to the bathroom, take a lunch break or vacation was just not what I wanted to do anymore. So um, I do have the luxury of time freedom. But when this pandemic happened, it kind of froze up a few things for me. And it made me a little bit like, all right, what, what else do I need to do to make um, things a little bit more comfortable for me? So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about our relationship with money. And there's four legal ways of making money. And I'm going to talk about it and show you. So I already wrote on the chart. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. All right, so this very first one is E. 60% of people are E's. Does anybody want to take a guess at what an E is? Worker B. The employee, yes, <laughs> the worker B. <laughs> so 60% of people are the employees. And there's nothing wrong with being there, okay? Because I was definitely there myself. So mm -hmm. when you think about the people who are the employee, that's the person that's asking their boss again when they can take a vacation. That's the person that's being told how much money they are going to get paid an hour or a salary or whatever. You're not saying what your worth is. They're telling you what you're worth, right? That's the person that does not get to say who they get can sit next to at the job or work next to them. Everybody don't play well with each other, right? But yet they still say this is how it's gonna be, being the employee, right? And I'm gonna keep it moving so that we can just get right to the nitty gritty. The very next one is, at the race because I had something else written here. I don't know what I was thinking. Is the SE, right? SE is the self-employed. So when you think of self-employed, somebody come off the line and give me an example of who might be self-employed yourself <laughs> yeah me anybody else besides a yoga teacher let's see who we got on this line oh we got a lot of people here and thank you what's your name the one that keeps answering nazari nazari thank you nazari okay so he said me so we're gonna go with me as an example because i'm a yoga teacher yoga sharer as i call it so i literally get to say how much my rates are right I get to say if that schedule works for me or not. I get to say who I want to work with. Those are all great things. The only thing is if somebody decides, you know what, I don't feel like doing yoga today. I'm not getting paid for that. Right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't count all this money in my head like, oh, yeah, this, I'm going to be eating well because these are all of my clients. And if I have clients canceling, now I got to reconfigure how my week or whatever is going to go right? So this side of money, we're talking about the left side of money. The left side of money is exchanging time for money. I still got to work. I still have to get up and do things to make sure that that money is coming back to me, right? So that's the self-employed. Another one that people like to use is um, a mechanic, 
mechanic the same exact thing. They will, they, they get to say who car they're going to work on or, or things like that. But then if someone's like, I'm never going back to you again because of whatever reason, they lost that money. They're no longer making that money. So they're still trying to exchange the time for money. We're going to hop onto the right side of money, the side that we really want to discuss today. So right here at the top, I have B for business owner. Business owner makes up 4% of the population. And I forgot to tell you, 35% of people are self-employed, right? And the great thing about being self-employed is you get those tax deductions. You can pretty much write off everything, which is a beautiful thing. All right. The business owner makes me think about the person who owns Amazon, um, the person who owns Walmart, um, Oprah. She's a brand. She, she's a business owner, right? She has people working under her. So she has the employees. They have the 60% of people running around doing everything for them. But the business owner is at the banks and the beaches. They are at the basketball games with their children. They make a phone call and say, get it done. And then they go about their life. They're not stressing, right? They are the 4% of people. They're not exchanging time for money. They have their money working for them. They have a group of people that sits at a round table and come up with better ways for them to create more money for the business owner, right? And I know many of you have probably have done that being an employee sitting at a round table thinking, how can we be more productive, more efficient? How can we make our company grow even more? Even though it's not our company, it's the business owner's company. They're the 4% of people. And they're the ones going to the bank with the, with the money. The last one is the investor. The investor is the 1% of people, right? So when I say investor, what comes to your mind when I say that? I don't want to look like a teacher's pet. Somebody else go. Putting up, put up money for, uh, here. <laughs> yeah, putting up money for somebody's business. What's good? What's good? All right. So I heard putting up money for somebody's business. That's the, yeah, that's an investor so they can get some money back. Anybody else? Creating residual. Creating residual. All right. Yeah, that's another one. Most recently, what I have seen when we talk, when I see investing is everyone talking about stocks. Stocks have been major right now. Um, at least on my Facebook, I see everybody saying, what stocks are you buying? Is anybody on Robin Hood, Acorn, and all those things? I don't know if you're seeing any of this on your pages, but it's definitely happening on my pages. So as I erase this board, we're actually going to talk about stocks and foreign exchange. Stocks and foreign exchange today. So have any of you heard of foreign exchange, Forex? Yes. All right, awesome. All right, so we're going to talk about the different. All right, just mute your lines real quick, just so that I don't get muffled for the other people that are listening. We're going to talk about the difference between stocks and Forex, all right? So when I think about stocks, the first thing that comes to my mind is companies. We just talked about companies, right? So I'm just writing it down. With companies, when you put your money, invest your money into a company and say that company is no longer doing good. What happens to your money? You lose you that money. To, you lost that money. Bingo. I know like when this um, pandemic first hit, I was like, oh my God, should I be taking my money out? Like, I don't want to lose my money. I remember back in 2008, even with my 401k, because that's another investment yes 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 <laughs> that's another investment 401k that thing dropped i had like close to seventy thousand dollars in there and it went down to thirty four thousand. Mm -hmm. i wanted to cry back in 2008 right so this is um companies and 401k they put a lot a lot of your money into companies all right foreign exchange right let me let me see if i can get an example here Somebody in a car, you got the turn signal on? Mute your line, please. <laughs> All right. Hopefully you can see this. This is a battery, and this is the, the marker. Let me see who line not muted. I got to mute y'all real quick. Oh, that's, All right. I got you. I got you. All right. There we go. All right. We got the battery, and we got the marker. 
So if we're in exchange, if any of you have traveled outside of the country, you had to exchange your American dollar for wherever you went. So let's go with the Canadian dollar. You had to exchange it. Oop, they gave you the Canadian dollar. They took your American dollar. So their exchange rate is different, right? So what, say if the Canadian dollar is, I'm not quite sure what it is right now, against the United States, you're getting a little bit more of that money because the United States is, is greater, right? So now we found a way where we can um, do that from our phones. You can ex do the um, exchange right from your phone with the foreign exchange market. And what I'm saying is you can make money from your phone using a foreign exchange market. So we're not um, investing into companies, we're investing into countries. That's bigger, and this is global. This is the global market. So with foreign exchange, um, you can do, you can invest in the, the stocks there, meaning like you can trade the stocks. We call them indices, and they pay out pretty big. Um, you can also do commodities, such as gold and silver. You can do energy, such as oils and, and gas, things of those natures. You can do crypto. So it's like a one-stop shop. It's like your, your, your super Walmart, but everything is right there instead of you just having to do one particular thing, right? So um, stocks is open at 9.30 to 5, Monday through Friday. That's it. Foreign exchange Forex is open 24.5. So if you're exchanging the... the um, the Forex, if you're exchanging the stocks, the oils, all those things, you can do that 24-5, right? But if you do crypto, which is Bitcoin, XRP, and I know there are some crypto people on here. If you trade those, you can do that on Saturday as well. So now you can do it 24-7. You can find ways to make money when you want to make the money. And that's the piece in it. With the stocks, as we just discussed, it is not recession proof. If a company starts to do bad, what happens to your money? We talked about it, that money goes down. You start to lose that money. With the foreign exchange market, you can be in a market while the market is going up or down. So what I'm saying to you is you can make money while the market is going up or down. We literally look at charts, we analyze the charts and we see how it's going to decide if we want to go in for a buy or a sell. And I have a video that I'm going to show you in one minute. I'm just making sure I talk about everything. With the New York Stock Exchange, it is a $22 billion daily market. $22 billion. That's a lot of money. That's awesome. That's great. Forex is a $7 trillion daily market. $7 trillion. That means every day you can grab a piece of that pie, which means that you can make withdrawals every single day. You can make withdrawals on Friday. You can decide how you want to do that, right? And we trade with a team of people in our community. So say if you get in there and you're like, I'm not quite getting this. If you come in with our community, they're going to help you to get it, right? All right. So I want to share my screen with you really quickly. And I just want to show you this video. All right, now let me go find it. <sighs> I'm going to turn my phone sideways. Uh, did it already start? I think it started playing. I know y'all can't hear it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to figure out how to get this volume back on. Guys, what is how do you understand how the markets work? Well, I want to take a quick second and share with you guys what it looks like. This is how you put your money to work. In these financial markets, ladies and gentlemen, in this aspect of investing, you're able to put your money to work regardless if you're asleep, regardless if you're spending time with your family, if you have multiple jobs, if you have multiple businesses. This is designed so your money can go to work for you. Your money is your employee. For instance, look at the screen. This is a $500 eight balance. This young lady took 50 cents. 0 0.05 means 50 cents. She took 50 cents out of her account balance, pressed buy, made an opportunity, and took 50 cents 
to $28. 10 cents grew to $5, a dollar grew to 55. Now the key is the key to this, ladies and gentlemen, is understand. If we could teach you how to take a dollar to $55 in your sleep, is that something that you would want to learn? If we could teach you how to, how to have calculated risk, is that something you want to learn? Are you willing to win at least eight out of 10 trades? What most people don't understand is that there is a skill set that follows behind investing, and we want to teach you how to possess that skill set. This is a quick review of the financial market in real time. This investment was $10, $10, $10, and $10, and it's grown to over $600. Now, this is how your money is going to go to work, regardless if you're paying attention to it or not. Once you press buy or sell, you put your phone down, you put it to sleep, and allow the market to go to work. You'll be in total control of your income. You'll also be able to manage your, your losses. Yes, nothing is guaranteed, but remember, we're going to teach you how to have a calculated risk. If your account balance was $500, what, were you, what are you willing to lose before you even enter the market? Well, you'll be able to tell the trade, you'll be able to tell the software, I am only willing to lose $5, $10, $15, since I won't be paying attention to this market. So you'll know what your, what your loss will be before you even enter. It's called an intentional loss of calculator risk. Now you cannot be directionally biased in this market. This is not buying and holding shares as we would do on the stock market. We simply make money by predicting what the value of something will be. Will it be $132 today? Will it be $133 tomorrow? The difference in, two, in between those values multiplied by our investment is what we make. Now guys, you'll understand more of that further. That's why we want to introduce you to our academy. All right, all right, so I'm gonna get out of this. And I do wanna show you this as well. This is the software that we use. If you wanna get a screenshot of this, you can. MetaTrader 4 is where we place trades. So that thing that she was just showing you with the different um, profit amounts, we do that in MetaTrader 4. Now, I want you to understand that we didn't have this opportunity a few years back. The only people who were able to place trades like this was the ones who worked on Wall Street, hedge funds, and your bank. I don't think you heard me. Your bank has been using your money that you have in your bank account to trade in the Forex market, and they've been doing it for some time. And guess what? You don't see any profit from that. They're keeping all the profits. Notice, like, even when you want to make a withdrawal from your bank, they have a daily limit. That's because you got to notify them so that they can make sure that your money is back in here so that they can really give it to you. So keep that in mind, all right? So j just take a screenshot of this. I'm trying to see if there's anything that I need to talk to you about on this. All right, yeah. So you got that right there. I'm going to go and show you the academy where I get my education from. I'm just going to turn my phone back around. Let's see. All right. So this is the academy. And it's warming up. <laughs> Here we go. All right. So where I get my academy is I am academy. Right? And as it's still trying to load, I'm just going to go over to the part where it says academies. Yep, that's me right there going into academies. And I just want you to know that they have this in English, Spanish, German, Portuguese, French, Polish. I actually went through all these because I just wanted to um, get all those points. I don't know why it's not really doing anything, but it was just still cool to see the different um, languages teach. So I'm gonna go into learning to trade for Forex. Did I hit it? Oh, mind you, I'm doing all this from my phone. All right, so when you first get in here, they show you the handbook. I told you I'm doing it all from my phone because a lot of people are like, do I, do I need to have a laptop? Do I need to have an iPad or a tablet to do this? I'm letting you know that you can do this from your phone. I mean, I like to do a lot. I do all my trading from my phone. I even mark up my charts from my phone. Um, 
the only time I use the laptop is if I'm on the smart money TV and I'm listening to these six and seven figure traders tell me we're going in for a live trade because I want my phone to be free for when I'm when I take those trades. But I want to show you this video. I'll turn it this way again. I just want you to see it. I'm going to be quiet while I play this. Welcome to the IM Mastery Academy for Forex. In this course, we'll be talking about what is FRX. Forex can be professionally abbreviated as FX or FRX. This basically is the short term for foreign exchange. It is the official trading market where one can exchange different currencies across the globe. As many countries are backed by their own banks, this allows citizens to use a currency which, in turn, creates an economy. The better an economy thrives, the stronger that currency can become. When anyone travels to other countries, they can participate in the foreign exchange market manually by simply exchanging their own native currency for the one they are visiting. As decades passed, the internet grew worldwide and Forex. All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a brief look at that. And I'm gonna turn my phone right back around. Um, I just want you to know that yes, you can go to YouTube and you can put in what is Forex, but it's going to take you down a rabbit hole. What I like to show you here is we have a curriculum that's starting you from the beginning. You have the um, 100 series, then it moves you into the 200 series, and it slowly, gradually brings you to the more advanced stuff that you would learn. So right after what is Forex, you see it says test, which we call a confidence quiz, because no one sees this but you. You're the only one that see it, and it will help you to be like, oh my goodness, I'm really getting this. I feel good about it. Because when you go to YouTube, you can go ahead, take all your notes down, you can go ahead, do trial and error, but you're not actually giving yourself a confidence quiz to make sure that you're really getting it and like i said it goes through the history what is traded in the forex the market participants which i was just telling you which are the people that are the hedge funds your bank we as the retail traders um those are just some of the ones so i done showed you the academy a bit of the academy the next thing i want to show you is something called the smart money tv which Right here it says go live now before i go any further does anybody have um a streaming television network like do you have netflix hulu cable anybody at all on the tv i'm about to say on the tv <laughs> on this call uh disney plus disney like plus okay yeah I, I have disney plus as well all right somebody tell me what their favorite show is oh um. Let me find out it's Moana. <laughs> Girl, yo, word though. I love Moana. <laughs> yeah, I love Moana too. <laughs> All right. But is that your favorite show? Oh, um, it's it's our favorite show. Me and my daughter. Yeah, you can say that. Oh, that's all right. That's a that's piece. That's beautiful. All right. So I understand that Moana is giving you an experience, which is a beautiful thing. But are you getting paid for watching Moana? Nope. All right. Thank you. This is what we call the smart money TV. You see this fierce lady right here? Look how many views she has. She has 70,000 views. And this is not per month, per year, per week. This is per day. This is daily. This is updated daily, right? So, and these are all different educators that are on here teaching us how to trade in the forex market. So I'm going to hit um, FRX. This is like our TV guide. Right now it's on advanced. I'm gonna take it over to basics. So say you just come in here and you're like, listen, I'm just trying to learn from the start. You have these educators at these different times that you can decide, oh, I'm free at this time. Let me catch them live. And say you catch one of these educators live, you'll be able to, just like how on Facebook Live or Instagram Live, you can type in here your questions and the person who's talking will give you an answer. Same thing happens here. You can say, I don't quite understand what a trend line is. And they'll, they'll go over it for you right while that video is happening. 
say you miss a video. All right, I'm going to hit on Abel real quick. And mute your line real quickly, if you don't mind. Say if you miss a video, right? You can come and catch a recording. Say you was like, dang, man, I had to go make this run. I missed Abel today. That's okay, because this video is going to be right here for you. And it will help you to understand the market. Market analyst is so important when learning how to trade right? Because you're trying to figure out how to grow your money. All right. So I done showed you the smart money TV. But the other thing I always get lost right around here. Oh, look, we have some live educators. Let's see who's on right now. We're just going to take a peek. AUD strong. And this can mess with all some right, we trades. really only just coming in for a peek, so I'm not supposed to really um, show you all of this. But I wanted to just show you, like, how it get down. Like, I can literally come in here right now and ask him some questions. Just like all these people are asking questions. All right. So now that I showed you that, I'm going to go right back to the I Am Center. I Am Center. All right, it signed me out. Get back in here. I also want to show you with this academy. Oh man, I'm not I'm not in the tenth place anymore. All right, with this academy, we have strategies. The different strategies. Let's say like how cable has premium channels. This is what strategies are. Um, a lot of the people in our community have like gold cup or levels. I'm not sure if anybody's here from our community. Is anybody here on a call from the community who has a product? Yes. All right, could you tell me about one of the products that you use in your experience? And um, who is this? This uh, Blue Jay. Hey, Blue Jay, what's up girl? Please tell me, go ahead. Hey, hey what's going on? So I, um, my favorite, um, my favorite strategy is Levels. Um, it was created by Oren Wright and he makes he makes stuff so simple like for people that was that's been in the military um the term breakdown barney style he makes it really 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 simple so that way even um kids can understand it wow have you been able to make money off of levels oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> you wouldn't be using it you wouldn't be using right. it if you didn't right <laughs> right all right, that's cool. The one that we do have that comes with your package is the harmonic scanner. I don't use it this way. I go into it a, a completely different way, but we gonna look at it from here. I'm gonna see if it it wants to behave for me. So, like right now, our market is is closed. All right, come on up, come on up, come on up. And again, guys, I'm doing this from my phone. <laughs> All right, so where you see that it says um, TP1, TP2, TP3. Let's see if I can pull that back down. This is basically um, another system where you're, you're able to, while you're in the academy first getting started, trying out in your demo account to see how these trades play out. TP means take profit, take your paper, take your money. So what this system is suggesting that it's going to come down to this entry. And then once it does that, it's going to go ahead and hit all these TPs. So let's say you have put this in your MetaTrader 4, the thing that I was talking about earlier, that app, you put this in your MetaTrader 4 and it played out this way, you would make money. And even that it didn't play out that way, you see where it says stop? You would put those numbers in the place where it tells you to put your stop loss and you would lose that money, but it would just be what you're willing to risk. So say if you start an account with $100. With a $100 account, you really only want to risk between 2 to 5%. So if $100, you're saying that I'm willing to risk $2 or $5, right? In order to make maybe like $15 to $30, if, you, if you're just starting off small like that. Gradually, you'll work your way up and be like, listen, I'm trying to make $3,000 in that day. And we have people in our community that are doing so. No income claims, but I'm just letting you know that it is very. Uh, I can just connect. Uh, Somebody got disconnected? Hey, man, I'm going to come off of here real quick. All right, I'm back. 
So just mute your line real quick, all right? So I want to talk to you a little bit about the um, investment of this academy. Now, I want you to understand clearly, it does not cost a single thing to trade. It costs nothing to trade. What does cost is the education, right? And again, yeah, you can go on YouTube and go down a rabbit hole. I mean, I have done it and I've scratched my head a few times, right? But say you use YouTube and you use the education and it just sinks in together and helps you. That's peace. The, the original investment fee is $235 to get started, right? It's $235 to get started. And again, like I said, you get the education, you get the smart money TV, and you saw how many views that lady has, 70,000, and that's just in one day, right? You also get the harmonic scanner. And if you wanted to add on other products, you can do that. Completely up to you. Because this is an academy, and I want to know, has anybody ever paid for college that's on this line? Nobody, I'm the only one that paid for college on this line? I did, but I didn't. <laughs> That's because you was in the service. <laughs> yeah, because what you 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 pay for um you pay for it with your time. Yes, so, pay for it with your time. That's very so, true. Yeah. All right, so I want to talk to um talk to you a little bit about when you go away to school or college, you're not earning while you're learning, right? In this academy, when you're learning you can also be earning at the very same time especially if you plug in if you come in hitting the ground running you're in the academy you're learning how to mark up charts you're going to earn money okay now if you come into the academy and you don't do any of those things you're going to waste your money it's just that simple all right so after 28 days the tuition kicks in the tuition is 174 dollars and 95 cents I know you're like, oh my gosh, $174. But let me ask you, what's, when's the last time you spent $174 on something and it did not make you money? Like the people who have a cable bill. I know when I used to have cable, my cable was a hundred and some odd dollars and that was not making me money. Or the people who like very expensive bags, right? And if you really total it, total it up, $174 is the cost of a coffee right? It's the cost of a drink each day. So just be mindful of that. And like I said, you're going to be getting so much when you come into this academy. Not only will you get that, you'll get a community that's going to back you and help you with your questions. So you'll be able to ask your questions and get, get your answers. Um, so I'm not going to hold you guys much longer than what I have, but there are three people on this call. Right. So the first person heard all this information and they're like, hey, how can I get started? I want you to get back to the person who recommended you to come onto this call because they see you as valuable and they want to see you succeed. The second person is like, I still have questions. I'm interested in Forex, but I still want to know more. Like I'm not I'm not quite there yet. And that's completely fine as well. Get back to the person who sent you so that they can get you on the right track to get those questions answered. The third person on the call is like, I am not interested in this at all. This is not for me. And that's completely fine. But the person who invited you to this call is going to contact you. So don't ignore them. Just let them know, like, this isn't for me. I'm, I'm not ready to do that. And that's okay. No one's pressuring you or forcing you to do anything that you don't want to do, right? Because this is about you deciding where you want to be in the next few years of your life. Now ask yourself, if you've been doing the same thing for the past couple of years and have not been seeing any changes in your life, should you continue to do that, right? If you wanna see changes in your life, it's best to invest in yourself. So I'm not gonna hold you guys any longer. I know that I wanna bring um, a legacy to my family, right? So it's important to me that I learn the skill set. None of us started walking when we came, came into this world. We had to start with crawling, and then we had to get to walking, learning how to eat food, all those things. So the same thing with the skill set. It's not hard. It's just new. 
So thank you guys for your time. I appreciate you hopping on the call. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the beaches and the banks and at the top because the bottom is way too crowded. Peace, y'all. All right, peace. Thank you. No problem.